Well, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hello, 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 family. Good afternoon. So excited to be with you again with talking about the love of family. You know, with, the Lord gave us the, the, this, this place where we're talking about the voice of love, and the voice of love connected to discipleship is so awesome because it's an eternal, it's an eternal relationship, and we want you to come and join us in this love affair. Can you see that? We're talking about discipleship that leads to the ultimate in sonship. This relationship between father and son is absolutely amazing. We like to start ours off with a place of agreement. We're just fully persuaded that if we can agree, there's nothing the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. can't do. All things are possible. Miracles, signs, and wonders can happen in the midst of where we are because of Jesus right here with us. So let's agree. Say, Father. Father. I am so excited. I am so excited. To understand. To understand. Meditation. Meditation. Is the peace. Is the peace. And the place. And the place. Of progress. Of progress. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Now let's start with the foundation. First John 4, 17 to 19 is so amazing because we're setting up something. Now remember that we're going to be just methodical in what we're doing because we want you to see it and it becomes a lifestyle. You know now, we want to go from information to revelation, all right? In the kingdom, it's always about revelation. Mm -hmm. In religion, you get information, information, and sometimes if you don't know what you have to do with information, then you never step off into the kingdom lifestyle. So we're going to be talking about the voice of love mm -hmm. in the kingdom lifestyle. In First John 4, 16 to 19, it's just amazing, can we? Yes. And we know, understand, recognize, are conscious of by observation and by experience, and believe, adhere to, and put faith in, and rely on the love God cherishes for us. God is love, and he who dwells and continues in love dwells and continues in God, and God dwells and continues in him. Yes. In this union and communion with him, love is brought to completion yes. and attains perfection with us that we may have confidence for the day of judgment with assurance and boldness to face him because as he is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love. No. Dread does not exist, mm -hmm. but full-grown, complete, perfect love turns fear out of doors yeah. and expels every trace of terror. Mm. For fear brings with it the thought of punishment, yeah. and so he who is afraid has not reached the full maturity of love, is not yet grown into its complete perfection. Wow. We love him because he first loved us. The key in discipleship is that very last verse. If I catch the revelation of mm -hmm. 19, mm -hmm. I can enjoy 16 and 17 yes. and 18. 19 says, he's the initiator. You know, in any really love affair, one person initi initiates the love affair. Like, he see her and she see him, mm -hmm. and something starts from that point. The mm -hmm. father saw you. And wanted you. So he's always the initiator, but watch this. He never wants to lose that position. Mm -hmm. He always mm -hmm. wants to be the first. He always wants to be first. Mm -hmm. And in that wanting him to be first, love produces trust. Mm -hmm. Trust produces obedience. Can you see that? Love, trust, and obedience. And as you begin to learn how to disciple in the love affair, that happens. Galatians 5 and 6, let's do that. Then we're going to go to Romans 12. Galatians 5 and 6 is so amazing. It says something about what love can do. You know, what love can do. Listen to what love can do in you as a believer. Galatians 5 and 6 says this, and I say, For if we're in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision counts for anything, but only faith activated and energized and expressed and working through love. Look at what that is saying. Mm -hmm. We know faith now is what the Father has said, mm -hmm. but we know what I said. Love said it. Yes. Can you see yes, that? Yes. Love said love it. Love said it. Well, see, he gave you his love, 
All right. Now he gave you his faith, which mm-hmm. is what he said. And if you develop the love affair with him, Romans 12 can come into practice now. Because Romans 12, 1, 2, and 3 talks about what we're going to talk about today. There's a crucial part of the word that we want to show you today. We believe can change your life if you make it a point of meditation. Mm-hmm. Romans 12, 1, 2, and 3. Watch this now. It says, I appeal to you, brethren. Mm-hmm. I appeal to you, therefore, brethren, and beg of you in view of all the mercies of God to make a decisive dedication of your bodies, presenting all your members and faculties Mm -hmm. as a living sacrifice, holy, devoted, consecrated, and Mm well-pleasing to God, Mm -hmm. which is your reasonable, rational, intelligent service and spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to this world, This age, fashioned after and adapted to its external, superficial customs, but be transformed, changed by the entire renewal of your mind, by its new ideals and its new attitude, so that you may prove for yourselves what is the good and acceptable and perfect will of God, even the thing which is good and acceptable and perfect in His sight, For you, for by the grace, the unmerited favor of God given to me, I warn everyone among you not to estimate and think of himself more highly than he ought, but to have an exaggerated opinion, I'm sorry, not not to have an exaggerated opinion of his own importance, but to rate his ability with sober judgment, each according to the degree of faith Apportioned by God to him. Now let's talk about look at mm-hmm. let's look at what it said. Now look at the last part of one. When you present your body as an act of worship. Mm-hmm. Is that amazing? Mm-hmm. Yes. When you present your body to the Lord, it's an act of worship. In that place of worship now, he said, I want you to begin to renew your mind. As a yes. new creature in Christ, mm-hmm. until you're renewing your mind, mm-hmm. you'll never be pleasing to the Father. Watch this now. Love and pleasure can go together. Mm-hmm. All right. But love with pleasure is so intoxicating to him where you're concerned. Watch what I'm saying. You know he's going to always love you. Yes. But you have to be willing to please him. Yes. Because watch this. He's going to love you anyhow. Regardless. In regard. Right. Mm-hmm. But if you realize respond correctly to him, pleases him, mm-hmm. then it changes everything. It does. Now there's reciprocating. What you want to say? That mm-hmm. um, and as, as the scripture says, we have to renew our mind mm-hmm. to think the way Jesus thought. There you go. Because until we renew our minds, yeah. we are not in a position yeah. to even to understand, to appreciate, mm-hmm. to receive the love. Mm-hmm. Because we are on, we only look at love the way we knew love to be before we got saved, right. and that was that selfish me first love. Yep. But when we change our minds and start thinking away, oh Jesus God. thought yeah. His thought was always yes. for others, and then Himself. Even uh, with that love that I'm talking about, we read a scripture. Um, we love Jesus because Jesus first loved us, mm-hmm. and. This past Sunday uh, in church, uh, the Lord gave me the revelation that we are carriers of love. Mm -hmm. We have love because we've received love. You can't give what you don't have. So we are reservoirs of his love. And I use the example also Mm -hmm. of being, um, Mm -hmm. you know, waiting to, to be able to share that love, not to keep it for ourselves, mm-hmm. but to share it. And it's like that holding pattern. Or when we see uh, variety shows on TV, before people come out, they're in the green room. That means that's where they're going to be, and the next step is to go on stage. Mm-hmm. Well, we are, in essence, that green room. We're carriers of love, and we hold mm-hmm. that love mm-hmm. until it's time to share it mm-hmm. or to give it out to somebody else. Mm-hmm. But we can do that because that's what Jesus did. Mm-hmm. And the Word also says that as Jesus is, so are we 
in this world. So Jesus received the love from the Father and gave it to us. Mm -hmm. We now walk as Jesus walked, so we have that love that we can share and give to others because we have it. That second verse is amazing. Mm -hmm. As you begin to renew your mind, now watch what it does now. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do that because we're on our way to Psalms 23, one of the most Mm -hmm. famous parts of Scripture that people know, but most people never enjoy the Scripture. Mm -hmm. All right, you know why? Watch this now. You can have the information from this book Mm -hmm. and not know the author. Okay. Yeah. You can know something about the book and not know the author. Mm -hmm. Now, discipleship is about getting to know the author. Yes, it is. Not just information Mm -hmm. about him. You know, you can Google something. We've done something the other day. We were sitting last Sunday, and we mentioned a person's name. Mm -hmm. Didn't do nothing but mention their name. Mm -hmm. You were able to Google the person's name, Mm -hmm. and it gave you their history. Yes. Still don't know the person. Right. You got information about the person. Right. But you didn't know the person. You Mm -hmm. had to... You had to form an opinion mm-hmm, mm-hmm. about secondhand information. Right. Because you ain't know none of it. Mm-hmm. See what I'm talking about? So when you understand what I'm going to show you today, mm-hmm. now we're going to mm-hmm. bless you by showing you. If you present your body, mm-hmm. right, begin to renew your mind, three says you will have his faith mm-hmm. for what you need to do. Yes. The measure of faith. Watch this now. Mm-hmm. Most people measure how much faith they got. Dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. Yes. If you measure how much faith you got, mm-hmm. then you're depending on you. That's right. If you measure how much faith Jesus has mm-hmm. for you, mm-hmm. you're, you're unlimited. That's true. You're unlimited. Not, well, see, I'm not measuring how much faith I got. I've mm-hmm. got faith in him. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I've got faith in him. Then I've got his faith in me because he gave me mm-hmm. faith. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. So I don't, I don't have to say I wonder, do I have enough faith for that? No, 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 no. Right. If the Lord tells me something, sugar, when he speaks it, it's, it's, it's faith, mm-hmm. right? So it's enough of him in it. Yes. It was enough of, oh, my goodness, watch this. It was enough of Jesus in come. That type of shot. That he told Peter. Hey. So was, what oh you're my, saying yes is when he gives mm, us instructions, mm, mm, he mm. gives us the ability and the grace to, to carry, carry it out. It out. Okay? Can you see uh-huh. can you see meditating up? Mm-hmm. When you start to realize what he does, that grace and faith is in everything he says. Mm-hmm. You got born again like that. Yes. You got born again by his grace though. Mm-hmm. And by his mm-hmm. faith. And by his faith. All that came from him. So when you say, okay, so let me quit trying to measure and see. Evaluate myself. Uh, I sure hope I got enough faith. <laughs> oh, Lord, I hope. Ooh, Lord. Now, I'm believing. And let me hear you, because that faith's gone. You see what I'm talking about? I'm believing mm-hmm. for a $50 million piece of property. Mm-hmm. Did you hear what I said? I heard We don't want to call it, really. Yes. About a $50 million piece of property. Now, we couldn't sell enough cans. Nope. We couldn't do enough overtime. Not, a, not even. I sure couldn't sell enough chicken. Oh, no. Oh, no. It no. ain't we enough have, chicken. We'd have to give some chicken. No, no. Uh-uh. No. Uh-uh. Oh. We got to have some egg laid so that they Jesus. can hatch some more chicken we, so we did, can. You see what I'm talking uh-huh. about? Uh-huh. And but watch this now. The Lord asked me to agree with him. That's right. I had no idea that he wanted me to have this piece of property. Mm-hmm. It wasn't even on my mind. My mind was so uh, below his his mind mm-hmm. that when he told it to me, it really shocked uh-huh. me. And I say, "What?" He say, "I I I I sent this aside for you." Mm-hmm. I say, Whoo. "So I got an agreement with him." Yes. And I got excited. Mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. Why? Because I got a word. Now the word is the substance of things hoped for, right? Right. People ask me, say, "How are you doing?" I say, "I'm excited." Now, they don't know I'm excited because I'm, I'm already in great expectation about what he's already that's told right, me. That's right, right. And that's because he's right. already told me that, you know, I've already seen myself mm-hmm. in possession mm-hmm. of this property. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm not waiting till I get the document. Right, right, right. See what I'm talking about? Because I'm waiting for it to be settled in earth. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm waiting for it to be established in earth, in the Nelson's name. 
Because it's already, it's already settled, settled in, in heaven. heaven, right? It was yes. settled in heaven when he said. When he now said. we're in agreement in the earth mm -hmm. about this fifty million dollar piece, piece of property. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I'm so excited. Say, well, how are you gonna do it? I'm gonna agree. What else you gonna do? I'm gonna that's agree. That's all we can. Now, watch then. this. Now mm -hmm. that's enough. Mm -hmm. See, that's enough. Watch this. Now one of the most famous pieces of scripture. Mm -hmm. In the mm -hmm. Bible, mm -hmm. most believers know this, mm -hmm. and a lot of unbelievers know this. Mm -hmm. But no, 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 very few people enjoy the benefits of it. You know, while you're going Come there, on. I can, I am Sister. sure Come on. that before there was ever a microphone, a no, chair, no. a light, or anything, okay. Apostle James saw KAZ. No, he did. I'm sure he did. Well, I'm sure he could well, be sitting at home well, in well, his chair. Well. Oh looking at oh KAZ oh because goodness. the Lord dropped it in his spirit. Mm, mm, mm. And, so we won't, you don't stop. And we goodness sitting in gracious. what he saw, I don't know how many 15, years ago. 20 years mm -hmm. ago. Now check this truth. Watch mm -hmm. this truth now. It started on the inside. Right. That's why we want you to catch how important meditation is yes, for you. Yes. Meditation now, you get a word from the Lord and you rehearse it. Right. Watch it. You don't sit down and think about it. To meditate is to rehearse. To meditate is not to think. No. To meditate is to rehearse. Because watch mm -hmm. what happened now. When you begin to rehearse it, by faith, mm -hmm. you begin to say it. Lord, I thank you for that bill. Right. Lord, I'm so excited about that building. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord. Now, watch what's happening. The building is growing. Yes. Yes. The building is growing. Why? Because I'm using my faith. Mm -hmm. I'm in agreement with him. My imagination is sanctifying mm -hmm. it now. Watch this. I want to show you today that your, oh, your imagination can protect your vision. All right? Your imagination can protect your vision because as you begin to meditate, guess what happens now? Mm -hmm. As you begin to renew your mind, guess who you go to? Fully persuade. Right. Yes, you go to yes, being full yes, of persuasion. Yes. I don't care what I don't care what it look like. Mm -hmm. I don't care what nobody else say. Mm -hmm. I don't care what the devil try to make me agree to disagree with the Father. It don't make no difference. It does not. When something come up because I'm meditating, mm -hmm. I'm rehearsing it already. All right, because I'm rehearsing it. All right, the enemy say, "Well, when he gonna give it to you?" I said, "I already gave it to him." No, I'm talking about when he gonna. I say, "Hey, hey, listen to me. Mm -hmm. You know, I already gave it to him." Yes. Um, um, uh, no, no, no. Listen to me. He's already given it to me. I said, watch what I'm coming now. When I testify, I'm going to call you first. See, I'm, I'm going to call you first. Listen to this now. Mm -hmm. You won't do the first three or want me to do the first three? Go ahead. Listen to the first three most important verses mm -hmm. you can receive as a disciple. Yes. As a disciple, going towards sonship. Remember now, love produces trust. Trust triggers obedience. Okay. Listen to these three verses. The Lord is. Huh? The Lord is. Not maybe, not might, not going to. The Lord is my shepherd. Why though? He want to feed me. Okay. He want to guide me. He want to shield me so I shall not let. Oh, my goodness. Yes. The Lord makes me lie down um, in fresh Tender, green pastures. The Lord leads me besides still and restful water. The Lord refreshes and restores my life, myself. The Lord leads me in paths of righteousness, uprightness, right standing with him. Watch, watch, watch. Here we go. go. Watch it. Not from my earning. Not for my earning it, may not for my earning it, but for Jesus' sake. Did you hear that? Yes, yes. Did you watch this now? The most important thing mm -hmm. you can catch from what we do today mm -hmm. is sitting down with Jesus and the Holy Ghost and begin to rehearse that. Lord, I thank you for being my shepherd. Mm -hmm. Lord, I thank you for being my shepherd. Now, watch what you're doing. You're preparing yourself for a fight. Huh? Did you catch that? Yes, I did. You're preparing your. If you start to meditate now, you're preparing yourself for a fight. Cause it's sure enough, if the Lord done told you something, the enemy gonna try to convince you he lied to you. That's right. That's right. If the Lord tells you something, 
the enemy is going to come to try to tell you he lied to you, mm-hmm. and that's when the fight starts. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But if you meditate, you can make him run like a scalded dog. Did y'all hear what I said? If, 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 if that street, that street. <laughs> if, you, if, you, if, if you start to meditate, you can make it run, put his tail between his leg like a scalded dog and leave because right. you're fully persuaded that what the father told you, he's doing it already. He's working in the dog. Mm-hmm. You can't see it yet, but no well on the inside of you, your imagination is what it done told you, and you know he can't lie. Why should he? And he done already guarantee you, I want to be your shepherd. Mm-hmm. I want to feed you. You know, Come and on. also, when we're talking about uh, meditating on and waiting on the Lord, even the sheep here, mm-hmm. they didn't go ahead of the shepherd. No kind of way. The shepherd did what was necessary yeah. and brought them to where the fresh, tender, green Come pastures Come was. And he led Preach. them beside the still and restful Didn't waters. All right. The shepherd already knew. He didn't tell the sheep, well, I'm going to do this. And the sheep said, go to each other and say, well, you think he really meant what he was no, going to say? He no. said, no, we have a history with this shepherd. We know what he's already done for us mm-hmm. before. And he's the same yesterday, today, there and forever. Oh so we know he's going to mm-hmm. continue mm-hmm. to take mm-hmm. care of us. So yeah. we know we're going to eat today. Mm-hmm. And we know we're going to mm-hmm. eat tomorrow huh. because he is our shepherd. My, my, and my. not only will we shall not lack, mm-hmm. we do not lack. Mm-hmm. No matter what's going on. My, because, my. see, we walk by faith and mm-hmm. not by sight. Yes. The sheep had faith that their shepherd yes, was going to take care of them. Check it. And if the sheep has Check that it. kind of uh, faith in the shepherd, mm-hmm. as mm-hmm. an analogy, him, mm-hmm. how much more mm-hmm. we mm-hmm. as mm-hmm. children of the Most High God mm-hmm. can depend on our Father and what Jesus, what he has promised us mm-hmm. through what Jesus did for us. So we have to remember that um, we don't have to look for stuff. Check. The Father will drop it Check. into our spirits. Check. Then he'll mm-hmm. maturate in it, mm-hmm. it in us Meditation. until it comes to full fruition, un- until the point where mm-hmm. right now mm-hmm. we have a testimony mm-hmm. that we will own this building. Mm-hmm. When it comes to manifestation, mm-hmm. then we'll have a testimony, testimony. Yeah. not just a confession. Right. Look at this thing now. It's an insult, church. To say sheep's dumb and stupid. No, they're not. Don't quit saying that. Mm-mm. I know that people have said, you know, sheep, one of the dumbest imp. These sheep ain't dumb because they know their shepherd. Mm-hmm. They're in love with their shepherd. They know their shepherd going to take care of them. That's right. Watch this too then. Watch this. Watch this. When you say sheep dumb, you're talking about Jesus. Uh-oh. He was a lamb. The lamb that Never was slain. slain. Oh, my. Before Quit saying stuff like that. They, right. Those are religious statements mm-hmm. that are wicked. Mm-hmm. They're not kingdom. Mm-hmm. All right? Look at this thing now. Catch this. He's your shepherd. He's your shepherd. So if I begin to meditate on him being my shepherd, mm-hmm. it's going to sanctify me. Yes. In the way I think. Yes. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. Meditation is going to cause me to believe this. Remember now I said for the fight. Let me show y'all something. Mm-hmm. Day before yesterday, I had an experience with the shepherd that thrilled me to no ends. Now, watch what happened. What happened? I um been learning from my wife right, that I should not let my gas tank go below half. Then when my gas tank get to half, I should go and fill it up, right? Mm-hmm. Now, I get riding in my truck sometime, and I don't even look at the gas. I just be riding. And I had done that this week, well, last week and some, mm-hmm. in my uh, gas you, hand. Okay. Got down there to, like, you know when you have to get out and walk? My hand, my hand had got down there near get out and walk. Mm-hmm. And I knew I couldn't push that truck to no mm-hmm. service station, mm-hmm. right? So I figured I ought to go and get some gas. Wait, sidebar. The reason I tell him that, <clears throat> because he does <throat> not look at his gas tank, the mm-hmm. hand, yeah. but I do. Yeah. Because as long as we've been in, been married, I told him, 
I do not get out of a car mm. and go walk <clears throat> to get gas. Oh, my goodness. I don't do that. <clears throat> so I need for you to I'm pay attention sure. to your gas hand. Mm. If not for your sake, for my sake, right. because I'm not doing that. But now he be in the spirit. Now go ahead with your story. Well, then, like, now in her car, she really pay attention to her car because she don't buy no gas. Amen. So when her husband get down to her hand, I always know it. Because I say what? <coughs> it's time you get my car. No, I only it. say, I only have a half tank right, of gas. Right, I only have. Translated, but that means. Go get some gas. Right. Okay, now watch this now. Watch what else. Mm-hmm. I get to the gas pump. And when I get through, I have put in one hundred and three dollars and one cent worth of gas. I stood there and shouted. I stood there and shout, "Hey, congregation!" I stood there and shout. I never had to do it. Check it now. You see what I'm talking about? Meditating. Get you ready mm-hmm. for the test. Mm-hmm. I never had to buy a hundred and three dollars worth of gas. I never had no car. Come on now, y'all hear me? I ain't never had no car. I ain't no, I ain't no car could take a hundred dollars well, worth of gas. These that, days car, they can. that truck drunk a hundred and three dollars and one cent worth of gas, and I stood there and shouted, "No, I come because I had it." Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Do you hear me? Because the shepherd. All right now. I was already meditating. Watch this now. You better watch your mouth now. Don't start complaining about gas. Be thankful. Come on. Y'all got to catch me now. Don't start complaining about stuff right now. Then you'll come up short and wonder, well, how come the Lord ain't taking care of me? Because you're messing yourself up with your mouth. Don't start telling no jokes about being short. Don't stop doing all that wicked stuff. That's not a kingdom conversation. When you do that, watch this. You put yourself in a position, Mm -hmm. all right, to not have this. You'll start lacking and won't know why, because you're joking yourself mm-hmm. into poverty and the sickness, all that stuff. You know how come? Watch this now. Death and life in your mind. Yes. We love you all so much. Mm-hmm. Look here. We'll see you next week. Mm-hmm. If you've been listening to us, if you don't know what it is, Jesus we talk about, he already know you, mm-hmm. and he wants you. He's already paid for your sin. Sin is not an issue with Jesus. Right. Sin is not an issue with Jesus. He paid for sin so he can get to know you. He wants you. All right, he wants you. He's paid for you. And if you see what we're talking about, you can start an eternal love affair with Jesus that don't make no sense. Amen. That's a grief we're going with. See you. Watch this. Share us with somebody. Put us on something. If you like what the Lord's doing through us, watch this. Help us get it out there. Amen. Tell somebody about the voice of love. Amen. Okay. And let's agree. Say, Father. Father. I am so excited. I'm so excited. I realize. I realize. The good shepherd. The good shepherd. Is on my side. Is on my side. And I'm ready. And I'm ready. To enjoy. To enjoy. Him. Him. And his benefits. And his benefits. In Jesus' in name. In Jesus' name. See you next week. Amen. Love you, love you, love Amen. you. Amen. Amen. Yes, yes, yes.